This is my Einhell table saw. We saw how powerful this is. With its 1,800 watts motor, may aasahan ka talaga sa kanya. So, if you are a DIYer like me, pwedeng pwede to sa'yo. One thing about this machine, you could easily purchase this one sa mga city hardware's branches nationwide together with other varieties of quality angle power tools. It has the classic design na merong very active and masculine color. It has stable footings na detachable. I'll show you later kung ano pa ang other options when we remove each footings. It also has rubber footings and on the back legs, meron siyang provided support na tutulong to stop yung sudden movements backwards ng machine while we are cutting. It also has onboard storages. On the left part, we could roll our 7 feet cord here for proper organization and safety. On the right side here naman, we could hook our push stick. Just above this, dito naman natin mailalagay ng maayos yung miter gauge attachments natin na gagamitin natin sa actual later. We also have two wrenches here na magagamit natin later sa pag-install at pag-remove ng blade. At the back, here we could see the dust port of the machine where we could connect the vacuum hose to suck the sawdust inside while we are cutting. Here in front, we could locate the control knobs. Ito yung on-off button na merong rubber over mold para hindi siya pasuka ng sawdust and ng moisture. For blade setting naman ng machine natin, this wheel, if we rotate it clockwise, we could raise the blade, then counterclockwise naman to lower it down. This knob, ang laki ng role nito sa machine natin at sa buhay ng woodworker. This is the one responsible for the beveled cuts. Let's move this angle gauge knob to the right to a specific gauge na gusto mong degree angle sa putol ng kahoy. Twist to lock, then ready to cut ka na nang naka-beveled yung blade mo. Let's move sa table surface ng machine. This machine has lots of options sa tabletop niya. This is the default setting. These black accessory tabletop attachments can be placed on both sides. On this position, we have 15 inches allowance from the blade up to the fence kung ilalagay natin yung fence sa right side ng table. Sa kaliwa naman, magkakaroon tayo ng 18.5 inches na allowance from the blade up to the fence. We could also remove these attachments if you are a DIYer dealing with small crafts that only need to use a small space of the table surface when ripping and cross-cutting woods. We have this rail with measurements to hold our fence in place. This fence has a locking mechanism to secure na hindi siya gagalaw habang nagpuputol tayo ng kahoy. This fence can be used in two ways. We could rotate this kung board or maninipis na lumbers yung puputulin natin. Or this way, kung mas makakapal na kahoy. We could do that by adjusting these bolts. Also, noticeable na mas mahikli siya compared sa ibang fences ng table saw. The objective of the brand is maiwasan yung kickback. Kickbacks na nangyayari paglagpas ng pinutol natin na kahoy sa blade. It is sturdy, so nothing to worry. We also have transparent blade cover if you are new into woodworking and worried pa at intimidated sa blade ng table saw. We could also connect it to a hose sa dashboard para less mess ng wood dust sa tabletop natin habang ginagamit natin yung table saw pang putol ng kahoy. It is moving up if we put woods to cut. And we could install it sa riving knife. If you are new to woodworking, this riving knife works to prevent kickbacks also and to make sure na well aligned yung pinuputol natin. Let's now talk about the blade. May kasama siyang free 10 inches blade with 24 teeth na sakto for general cutting. General cutting means pwede na siya pang rip cut or cross cutting, even ng boards or solid lumbers. It has 30 mm arbor size na napakadaling hanapin sa market if you already need to replace the blade. These two wrenches sa gilid kanina, yung gagamitin natin pang install sa kanya. This is the inner flange. This is the blade, ang pag-install sa kanya. 
dapat yung ikot niya is going to you. Let's put the outer plunge, screw, and itighten natin siya using these two wrenches. This is the miter gauge that we could use both sides sa rails ng table natin. Pwede sa kanan at pwede sa kaliwa. Ginagamit ito in cross cutting. We could also set its angle positioning up to 60 degrees. Pero ang kadalas ang ginagamit ay yung 45 degrees like kung gagawa ka ng miter cuts for frames and boxes. There's also an option para maging mobile yung ating table saw. Like what I did before, naglagay lang ako ng base niya and then I put caster wheels na may lock and then pwede ko na siya ngayon move around sa loob ng shop ko. Pwede yung gamitin ng medyo may liit ng shop or kinoconvert lang yung garahe nila para maging woodworthy shop. Yung table saw ngayon natin ay mobile. So you could put it anywhere around your shop. And if you are proactive like me at kailangan ko i-maximize itong aking table top sa mas wider na cuts ng boards, Pwede kong ilipat yung black part na accessory ito to this part. I just move this rail going here and then attach this one to this part. Basta ang top of mine natin, dapat laging may fit yung mga nuts natin and the connections. This is how it looks like here under. Well supported naman yung ating extended part na to. And the table surface can be calibrated. At kung madalas mo siyang gagamitin sa ngayong position, better to put a support at the back of the table. So pwede tayong maglagay ng kahoy dito or something metal. So the size of this wood is 1.5 by 2 inches. So I could put it here. May mga provided naman siyang butas. Pwede natin yung screw dito. For sure, on this way, mas matibay na yung table top natin. We could also set it like this. Once again, ako ang inyong DIY dad. Hanggang sa muli.